Hi, I'm the Lockpicking Cuber, and in this video, I'm going to have a look at the GAN robot. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to use a lockpick to open up this box. That seems only appropriate, really. There we go. Let's have a look at what's inside. So inside the box, we'll get this rather nice case. And inside the case... Uh, Opened it upside down, I guess. Inside the case, no, I didn't. We have the robot um, and a plug, which would work in a different country, <laughs> but not the country I live in. Um, and an instruction manual, which tells me how to set the thing up, I guess. So I'm going to set this up and then I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, the robot is now set up. It was really easy to do. It takes just a few seconds to set up the hardware. Connecting it to the app, and this is the only way you can control the robot, uh, that was a little painful. The app itself is um, uh, not great, I would say. But once you get it working, it, it, it works reasonably well. It can be a little painful connecting the app to the cube. Um, the app has to connect to the cube to be able to tell the state of the cube and to the robot to control the robot. Um, the one nice thing I like is that the way that you um, control the cube itself is by turning the faces. So, for example, if I turn the green face five times, it puts it into Bluetooth Connect mode. Um, I don't think you can see it now, but a little white LED lights up inside the cube there to show you that it's connecting. You can also turn certain faces to disconnect and do other things. So now that the app is connected to the cube, if I scramble the cube, you can see the moves that I do on the cube are represented on the app. So I can scramble the cube up, do any series of moves I like, and the app knows the state of the cube. And that's how this robot works. It can't see the cube, it can't tell the state of the cube itself. The cube tells the app the state of the cube, and then the app tells the robot the state of the cube. So if we now put the cube in here, and lock it into place, the robot should be able to solve it. So we'll go into practice mode, uh, robot mode, and then we'll say solve. Now notice it does these two moves first. That's just it checking that it's got control of the cube. And then it solves it, and it's pretty quick. Okay, so I've set up a, a challenge between me and some other cuba. So what will happen now is we'll do five solves and the winner will be the one that uh, gets the best times. So I can tell the cube, the robot to scramble the cube for me. Start the scramble, does its two moves just to check everything's okay. And then it gets on with solving, uh, scrambling the cube. Notice that my timer, <laughs> notice that my timer is running down all this time. So I've only got 13 seconds left to uh, inspect the cube before I have to start. Otherwise I'll get a DNF. So I'm just gonna take a look here. Okay. Now the interesting thing is that unlike normal cubing, I don't have to start a timer before I can get going because the cube knows when I've started sol trying to solve it. Uh, and it knows when I've stopped. Okay, so I won that round. Uh, okay, so I... Uh, I narrowly won that competition. I won the first three rounds and then I lost the last two. My opponent got better as they went along and I got worse as I went along. <laughs> I want to show you what might be the best feature of this smart cube and the software that it comes with. This is something that most of these smart cubes can do. Um, so I'm going to start off by getting the robot to scramble the cube for me. It's always a pleasure to watch it do this. Okay, now I'm going to solve the cube. Okay, 
Now I want to show you what we get on the app here. So this shows me the total time it took me to solve the cube. It shows me that I did 3.3 turns of the cube per second. It took me 66 moves. It gives me this fluency index. I have no idea what that means. Some kind of measure of how smoothly I was turning the cube, I guess. But I think that's probably fairly meaningless. But here's the really interesting bit. In the method that I use, which is called CFOP, CF, OP, which is the main method used by most speed cubers, you have these four steps. C is the cross, F is the first two layers, orientation and permutation. And what this shows me is how long it took me to do each of those steps and how I moved. So in the, doing the cross, I was doing two turns per second for the first two layers. I was doing 3.5 moves per second. Uh, took me, you know, 27% of the solve was on the cross, 38% on the F2L, the first two layers. 17% on the orientation, and then the, um, the fastest bit for me was the permuting the final layer at the end, which was 16.5%, um, but was uh, at a much faster number of turns per second than the other stages. The point about this is one of the most useful things that you can do when you're learning uh, to solve the cube and getting faster is find out which are your slow bits. Um, if it turns out, for example, that um, you're very slow at the OLL stage, you need to practice the OLL more, and then the app has more features for allowing you to practice different parts of the solve. So yeah, I think this is almost certainly the most useful uh, feature of this smart cube and other smart cubes like it. So what do I think of the robot? Uh, it's, it's a nice, fun gimmick. It's something to show off to your friends. Uh, it's not really a useful tool, that's my opinion. I can't really think of much use for it other than if you don't really enjoy scrambling a cube and you want a robot to scramble it for you. That's not a completely silly idea. If you're doing, I don't know, thousands of solves a day um, and half your time is spent scrambling the cube, you can save your fingers for solving and have the robot do it for you. But for most people, that's not really an issue. So I'm honestly not convinced that anyone really needs to buy this robot. It's a fun thing to have and show off, but I don't think you really need it. The cube, on the other hand, I can see being a pretty good tool for people who want to learn how to solve the cube. There's a whole load of instructions um, and uh, other materials that have come with the app. It's a pretty poor app, I would have to say, so you might want to check out other apps that are compatible with the same cube or even other cubes with their own apps. But the idea of having a smart cube that connects to a device that can tell you, you know, how to solve the cube from where you've got to, that can set you tasks to learn, uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. So I do recommend this um, cube for beginners. I don't recommend the robot to anybody other than, you know, people like me, I guess, who just want to have it uh, for fun. Anyway, um, that is the end of this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, uh, do tell your friends about my channel and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.